All right, traders, so watch this video for Thursday, November 29th. This is this actually happened. Um, I think the Dow was up over 600 points today. Huge move in the SPY, and it's actually resulted in something kind of weird. In that, you know, I do a search every night. I, I I do I run a screener and I look for stocks that had really nice moves, you know, today, unusual volume, and so on. And oddly enough, with the market making this kind of move, I have the smallest watch list I've probably had in a long time, or it, it, maybe a tie, um, which is weird. I'm not sure what the underlying reason for that is, but um, not seeing a lot of standout charts, but the ones I have, I, I, I like them pretty much. Um, so let's go into that. Well, real quick, um, I got to share a couple. For those of you that weren't in chat today, and this looks like an errant tick, like that didn't even happen, but on an intraday basis, you'll see that it did. Um, this was on our gap play watch list and gave a really nice kind of three candle flag right there at the highs. Wayne said, hey, I like this over the high of day, which was three, no, I'm sorry, 277, look what happens. I mean, it goes up to 520 something from there, which was just a great call. And, and um, you know, as Wayne said in chat, uh, you know, he, he takes these smaller when you see how whippy they are. This thing was super whippy, um, but it was a great call. And then it wasn't the only call today. Then I called it right here in the 380s and it, it only went down to 376 um, and then from there it still went to 520 so even if you got the first pullback play um, and missed this still a very very profitable trade now by the end of the day it had rolled over don't care got our money from it and it's not even on my watches for tomorrow because it basically almost round trip but um, a couple of really nice calls and then I'll share time with you too TYME was on watch and again I'm kind of talking to the people that didn't make it to chat today um, trying to coerce people to show up every day because there is money to be made, right? Um, so TYME was just flagging here with yesterday's high above and then the whole number three and the, the day before that's high above that. So we call that stacked catalyst and it had a big seller on the tape right at uh, 295. So I called it through that seller, 295, and it ends up going all the way to almost 350. The risk was six cents. That's what I loved about this setup, right? 295 trigger. 289 stop. It doesn't get much tighter than that. And uh, a really nice one there too. So um, here's what I'm watching tomorrow, right? Here's what, very small list. Um, NBEV, something about the farm bill uh, got this and some other pot stocks moving. Um, and it had really nice volume today. Closed pretty strong too. Here's the intraday. So you can see that volume that came in. Really nice move. That's going to be on watch tomorrow. As any pot stock you like should probably be on watch tomorrow. But uh, that's one of them that I threw on the list. Um, ASNS, uh, what I call this uh, acronym for a super nutty stock or something like that. This thing is crazy. Um, again, if you weren't there today, when this thing started to curl up, it was about 325. I said, hey, I like this through 350, right? Because that's a red to green with the high of day above. And this happened in a matter of seconds. Now, I, I got a PM from somebody. I don't want to say names because it was a private message, said it was their best trade of the day. They got filled, they kind of Tokyoed it in front of the 350. I didn't get this, by the way. Um, they told me they got filled at like 329. And then when it got halted on the volatility halt and they sold it out of the halt and had a huge trade. So I was happy for them. But um, when I say this is nutty, you have to trust me because I watched this happen. It's trading at like 329, 330. And then all of a sudden, my level two time of sales went nuts and it just ripped to 360. Um, and I just sat there with a stupid look on my face watching it all happen. And then it came out of the halt and there was no clean setup after that. And you see what it did. But because it had this crazy move yesterday from 129 to 450 on over 40 million shares, in effect, what you've got now is a quiet inside day in the upper half of yesterday's range. So absolutely worth watching tomorrow. All right. But I'm telling you, it was crazy. All right. Um, ANY. Here's the reason this is on watch. I keep waiting for this. I'll take today's candle out of it, right? It, it's starting to look toppy. All this volume, you know, every trader in the world logs on and has A N Y on their watch list now. And they had, had this kind of topping tail yesterday, kind of failed through eight, or two days ago, sorry, kind of failed through eight today, or yesterday, Jesus, Mike. Um, and so it looked like it was toppy and finally going to roll over. And so then today, by the way, if you weren't in chat, Jane called this. I'm going to show you two minute candles to show you why she called it the way she did. 
Um, Jane called this the opening two minute candle. Love the fact that it opened right at seven with the high of day above. That's always another possible catalyst. Sellers came in as it turned back up. Jane called this long through seven, knowing that she had the high of day break possible, uh, you know, just above that, a dime above that. A dime is a blink of an eye for A and Y. So, uh, and, and she got filled through seven, and within like four minutes, it's up to almost 780, maybe six minutes. I didn't get this one either. I was busy trading something else, but a great call by Jane. And if she's not on your hot list to, of people in chat to follow, she should be. Um, just a great call. Anyway, back to what I was saying. ANY, keep waiting for this to roll over and it hasn't. And it's still giving out good trades in the morning. So it closed about where it opened today, but it also, I would note, closed above yesterday's close. So it's kind of coiling and it may have another leg in it. I don't know, but you guys know I'm only going to take it if I get a low risk setup. So I thought I was done even watching this because I was expecting it to roll over. And since it didn't, it goes back on the watch list. All right. Um, PYX is another one of the pot stocks that's really beaten up and kind of maybe trying to break out of this range down here. And it got some juice with uh, NBEV today. Look at that. Look at that finish today. So that one goes on watch. And then I have another kind of obscure pot stock that's in a base here um but got a little i'll show you the intraday got a little volume when all the other pot stocks started popping this one's soup whoops sorry about that this one's super thin um, so you want to be careful with it but if they get going again it's worth watching you know it may kind of break out of this range and then lastly i've got nio which if you weren't in chat i called this through eight right here had this tight range and you had the earlier high of day above as a potential catalyst for even higher prices. The daily chart looks good. And I called this through that eight seller. And it didn't happen fast, but it ended up getting through the high of day. I said, you know, if this gets through eight, it might, you've got a high of day um, break, which is only nine cents above as a potential catalyst. You guys know I like to take entries where a big seller on the tape's getting taken out, preferably at a whole number with a, with a catalyst above. This met all the parameters, right? Um, and then skip to the daily. And you've got a kind of a handsome daily. If you ignore the first month of trading or something, you could argue you kind of have a nice little cup and handle forming here, right? You can kind of picture a trend line right here uh, or resistance line, whatever you want to call it. So this looks like it might be poised to break out. So it is a handsome looking chart and uh, paid a few bucks there at the end of the day. Um, that's it. It's a very small list. There's what, uh, six stocks on the list, which I was shocked when I saw how strong the market was today and, and how it closed. I thought, I thought I'd have to sift through um, a whole bunch of high relative volume movers and pick my favorite charts and there really weren't that many, which is weird. But anyway, we'll see. Looking forward to tomorrow. Have a great night. We'll see you guys in chat.